Whoa, this is huge. This is so cool. We made it to Page, Arizona from the Grand Canyon. If you missed everything we were up to at the Grand Canyon, check out our last vlog. We had a really fun, like 22 hours at that park. Uh, the drive from the Grand Canyon to Page is only two and a half hours, but it felt like way longer because we're so, so tired. Yeah. yeah, we are knackered. So <laughs> we're just gonna hang out here at the Airbnb, make some good dinner and just rest up for a big day tomorrow yeah but first we wanted to show you our airbnb because it's super super cute oh, and we're beautiful. big airbnb fans and i think we've mentioned this before yeah. but we just love like getting to stay in more of a homey environment having a kitchen this one has a grill so huge perks so we thought we'd take you guys on a little tour real fast yeah. welcome to my page arizona home <laughs> we have our awesome living room and then we have a little kitchen and dining area right here Kitchen's so nice. We have this awesome stove. We're used to an electric stove, so we love when we get a gas stove. Lots of room for activities out here. Woo! We have a little seating area and a grill. And yeah, lots of room for activities. I feel like we should have a dance party. Laundry for all of our smelly hiking clothes. Which we have a lot of. First things first, we are doing some laundry. This Airbnb has three bedrooms total, which we don't need, but it was a good price, so we figured, why not have an extra room? This is bedroom number two. This will be Callie and Michael's. And this is our room. Approved. Ooh. Nice and comfy. We gave ourselves the one with the longhorn slash cow above it because hook em horns, we are UT alums. <laughs> and we have our own bathroom in our room. And there's also another bathroom in here, which is great because there's four of us. So two bathrooms is awesome. So that is the quick tour of our Airbnb. It's really cute. We cannot wait to hang out here. We should have more time to relax here than we have at any other place we've stayed this trip. And we're so pumped. We saved the best Airbnb for last. If you want to stay at this Airbnb for yourself, I'll link to it below. We also have a discount code where you can get like $40 off your first Airbnb stay if you've never stayed at one. So we'll put that below as well. <sighs> Time to do some laundry, go to the grocery store, and then hopefully get some sleep tonight. We are tired. <sighs> so we're up again before the sun. This time to knock off another bucket list item, horseshoe bend. Horseshoe Bend is a horseshoe shaped incised meander of the Colorado River. That is such a mouthful. <laughs> uh, you pay $10 to park in the parking lot. It used to be free and apparently two days ago they started charging. So, Oh well, it's oh, worth well. it. When totally. we walked up, so we walked up in the dark because we came for sunrise and I had my headlamp on and I could start to see it. And so our friends Callie and Michael, so to back up a bit, Callie and Michael came last night for sunset, but yeah. we were too tired. And Callie came back and said, wow, it is so much bigger than you expect. Like yeah. even just seeing photos all the time. So we walk up, it's dark, and I put my headlamp on it and I was like, whoa, this is huge. So, wow, completely mind blowing. I've been wanting yeah. to come here for so long and I'm so glad we did it. Sunrise was an awesome time to come, way less busy than sunset. Um, we haven't gotten back to the parking lot yet, but it compared, I have a feeling compared to sunset last night when we dropped them off, it'll be significantly less yeah. busy. Also, it's just so cool to see it come out from the dark and see like the oranges and the pinks and the purples and yeah. it was just so cool. It helps though too that there was an awesome sunrise. Yeah, the sunrise was one, awesome. So. We thought it might be really cloudy, but it turned out to be gorgeous. Yeah. Um, one thing to note is that people get real close to the edge to get photos, yeah. kind of myself included. I don't want to pretend that I didn't do it, but the, the tip is just to be on your stomach or sit down. That way, if wind comes, you don't like lose your balance. Yeah. Um, they do have some railed areas. 
those have great views too. Um, but just, yeah, just keep that in mind. Just be really, really, really careful. A yeah. lot of people have died here. So I was being very cautious. I was definitely not as much of a daredevil as some people. Um, you also need a really wide angle lens if you're using like a larger DSLR camera to actually get the shot. So yeah. I didn't have the best camera lenses for this. So we'll see how they turned out, but beautiful. Worth it. It was so awesome. Yeah. Worth another really early morning, yeah. that's for sure. And now it's time for some coffee. And breakfast. So our next stop is Antelope Canyon. Well, sort of. So we may have heard of Antelope Canyon and the upper and lower parts of the canyon are extremely popular to visit. We heard that the crowds are crazy there and you can't get a photo without people in it. So we found out about this place called Canyon X, which is actually the same canyon. So it's part of Antelope Canyon, but it's the beginning part. We heard it's a much better experience, a lot less people. So we're gonna go check that out instead. because if you look up right here, the sky and like the rock formations make an X. South Canyon better. It's just very wavy and the lighting's so pretty. <laughs> couldn't stop freaking out because canyon x was awesome it was so cool we had such a great time and we could have easily spent hours there walking around they actually have a photo tour you can do which is three hours and callie and i would have loved that because we kept holding up the tour because we could not stop taking photos <laughs> The tour was about 14 people and it was the perfect amount of people to wander around and find your own space. Our tour guide showed us a photo of what the upper and lower Antelope Canyon looked like and the people are just all smushed together. This is the beginning of peak season and we came at the most popular time of the day. From 11.30 to 1 on a really sunny day, you get the chance to see light beams, which look really cool in photos. We unfortunately didn't get light beams today, but our tour time is probably the most popular because of that. So the fact that it wasn't didn't feel that busy, even though it was the popular time, was pretty awesome. And bonus, we saw a puppy. There was the cutest little puppy named Milwaukee that we got to meet after our tour. You probably saw in the clips before, but we definitely wanted to take him home. We highly recommend checking out this spot over Upper and Lower Antelope Canyon. It's down the road a little bit from those, and it's the same canyon, so you still get to experience the Antelope Canyon, but just a different part of it. So last night we drove by Big John's Barbecue and had this crazy line, and we're like, well, we're all four from Texas. Maybe we should go give it a shot. So here we are for lunch. Yeah, we got beef brisket, a pound. Uh, half a rack of pork ribs. Give it a shot. 
All right, Adam, what's the verdict? Oh, I'll give it a seven out of 10. Not as good as some places I've had in Austin, but still solid. I thought the ribs were really good, so if you come here, get the ribs. And their spicy barbecue sauce is pretty tasty, too. We were hoping to go kayaking on Lake Powell, but we showed up to go rent the kayaks and we were told we would not have enough time to actually enjoy it for the amount of money because they close soon. So plan B is we're just gonna walk around Lake Powell and hopefully find some cool spots. I might jump in and swim, you never know. I don't know, that looks like it'd be a pretty big jump. Jump so. off that one. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We're just kind of going with the flow now. Plan B didn't really work out either, so we're now on to Plan C, which we think we're going to the Waweep area, but we also aren't really sure, so no promises. I wanna weep. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a bit of a dilemma. We could either go to Utah and see these really cool hoodoos or we could go back to the Airbnb and just relax and play games and all that fun stuff. Clearly we're not at the hoodoos. So we chose the Airbnb, which was hard because we like to go do fun stuff, but we thought board games and just eating sounded fun. So we're eating chips and salsa on our little back patio. Gonna maybe play a game or two. We deserve a and chill night. And just relax, yeah. yeah. Nice way to unwind after a fun few, awesome few days. Back Yay. to back to back sunrises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't slept in a while, so we're gonna do that yeah. tonight. Had a nice relaxing evening at the Airbnb, a delicious meal that is about so to burst out of my stomach. Good. We're very full now. <laughs> uh, played some board games, some exploding kittens, and yours truly won round two. Rare. <laughs> yeah, he beat me. It was down to us at the end, and he won. It's, like, it's a really fun game. It was our first time ever playing it. Highly recommend it. It took a second to understand it, but once we did, it's really fun. You're kind of like on the edge of your seat the whole time wondering if you're gonna get an exploding kitten or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to bed because we have a very early morning. We are headed back to Scottsdale. It's about a four and a half hour drive. We're hoping to get there early enough so we can do some more stuff there. So we will have one more Arizona vlog with everything we get up to tomorrow. But that is a wrap on Paige. Paige was awesome. Oh, I loved it. So cool. Loved it. There's Beautiful. so many cool things here. Yeah. Some parts feel like Mars. You just feel like you're yeah. on a different planet. It's just incredible. So yeah. we highly recommend checking it out. For sure. We'll link to this Airbnb. Ugh, Airbnb. I cannot talk. I'm so tired. Below, in case you want to stay here. Great spot. This place is sweet. Yeah. And we also will have a page guide that we'll link to below as well, in case you want to figure out what you want to do while you're in town. Check it out. But that is all for tonight. We will see you next time. So Horseshoe Bend is a horseshoe shaped in <laughs> So Horseshoe Bend is a <laughs> So Horseshoe Bend is an incised <sighs> So Horseshoe Bend is a horseshoe shaped incised meander. That's a mouthful. So, <laughs> I still don't really know what that means. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For some coffee. Hold on. I don't know what I was doing. I was like <laughs> Jones! Jones! <laughs>